This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skid. What's going on you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch and it's great to have you back. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you may remember us going to Kickstarter for projects like the M1 by Monster Tech and the Notorious Cyper Pro. Now, the Cyper Pro definitely turned out to be a scam. Their entire Discord got nuked, they are gone. And the Monster Tech by M1, they've had some updates recently, but I'm still not convinced it's gonna ever come out. So of course that begs the question, why make another Kickstarter video if I have absolutely no idea if the project is gonna get completed? Well, that's because I have one. This is the BLE Shark Nano. The BLE Shark Nano can do a bunch of really cool stuff. It has BLE attacks, obviously, hence the name. It can do Wi-Fi attacks. It can do bad Bluetooth and more. And the fact that I'm physically holding a prototype in my hand means that they're not going to rug pull you. That's right. This ain't the Hawk Kua coin. These guys are in it to win it. The devs were even able to generate more than 10x their original Kickstarter goal. I think these guys are doing an absolutely great job on this project, and I'm psyched to show it to you. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start this off with the same disclaimer I give for any Kickstarter. Don't invest money in a Kickstarter if you are not 100% ready to burn that cash. We saw it with the Cyper Pro. They were taking people's money and they were not coming through with their project and all those people basically got fleeced. Now, that being said, the reason why I'm so psyched on this one is that I physically have this. It's an awful lot of work to actually create the end product and then decide to completely rug pull everybody. So I'm feeling pretty safe about this project. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Kickstarter and see what it's all about. All right, so here we are at the Kickstarter for the BLE Shark Nano. You can see at least as of the time of filming, we're at $43,747 of a $3,530 goal. That's absolutely fantastic work. And it goes to show that these guys really are putting in the work. Because if we scroll down real quick, and I'll get back to the trailer in a second, we can see that the available rewards, it's only about $35 to back this product, which is a great price. So let's head back up and let's watch the trailer. Meet BLE Shark Nano, the wireless testing tool you've been waiting for. All right, so the prototypes, the early versions here have a 3D printed case for them. So it's got some overhangs and some things that don't look perfect. They are working on an injection molded case for the official products, but the early ones look like they're gonna have a 3D printed case. But it's actually a pretty good job that they did on it. The case looks fine, so no real problems there. All right, back at it. Sleek, powerful, and packed with features. The BLE Shark Nano is your ultimate all-in-one multi-tool. Take control of your surroundings. With just a tap, flood every Bluetooth device around you with connection requests, compatible with iOS. So yeah, this is the BLE Spam that you've seen before. It works on Windows, Android, and iOS. As Android and Windows devices. Create hundreds of Wi-Fi networks in seconds. Choose from Rickrolls, random ones, funny names, or your own custom creations. Now we're gonna be testing some of these things later, but yeah, I've tested this and it makes a lot of wireless access points. It's kind of crazy. Take control of Bluetooth devices with bad BT injections. The BLE Shark acts as a keyboard, allowing you to send custom commands and scripts instantly. So yeah, this works as bad Bluetooth, just like the Flipper Zero does, and it allows you to do keystroke injection just using the product itself, which is pretty fun. Create your own Wi-Fi network and instantly set up a custom web page on it using a captive portal. In this demo, users simply verify their email and the BLE Shark saves it. So it does captive portal and it does evil portal as well. Always make sure if you're logging into something that it's on a secured Wi-Fi, guys. Very important. Need to get away quickly? Hold down both the left and right buttons for half a second and boom, you're instantly in Flappy Bird. That's right, it's got games as well, which is, I know it's a little small device, but hey, if you got nothing else to pass the time, it's nice to have some games on there. Effortlessly access and read your notes anytime with the Text Viewer app. Optimized for crystal clear readability, even on the tiny display. The tiny display actually is very readable. They picked a really good font, and with the OLED display, it's really pretty usable, even outside in sunlight. Boost your productivity with the mini keypad app. Assign up to eight custom commands to streamline your workflow 
and take control like never before. I should actually use that for my OBS recording because I could just use this little guy as Bluetooth, press a button to start and start my camera, and then I don't have to worry about shaking it all the time like when I touch stuff. Enjoy your breaks with the TikTok scroller. Just connect to the BLE Shark and you're set. Scroll, pause, or like any video without touching your phone. Now, I don't use TikTok all the time, even though I did have a TikTok account that I started all my social media on, but that's kind of a fun feature. I can just kind of like flick my phone, but you know, being able to do this hands-free, kind of cool, especially if you're using TikTok on like a tablet or something. It's not just for work. The BLE Shark Nano comes preloaded with games. Some games include Flappy Bird, Space Invaders, Pong, and a breakout game. Now I have played through these games, and again, for how small the screen is, it's actually pretty playable. Take complete command of your BLE Shark with the extra settings mode. Simply connect to the BLE Shark's Wi-Fi network first, then make sure the password and username are identical with the BLE Shark. Customize Wi-Fi. Now, I actually really like this feature. So basically, because the display is so small, it makes it so much easier to create your own Wi-Fi hotspot that you log into and then you have all your settings. Especially when there's things where you might wanna change the text of something, typing on something that's this small with three buttons is very, very complicated. So being able to do it with your PC or your phone, chef's kiss. Wi-Fi networks, security settings, packet delays, captive portal stuff, update settings, and notes and scripts. Tired of old firmware? Don't worry, we got you covered. Keep your BLE Shark up to date with ease. With an automatic update checker, you'll never miss out on new features. Now, I really like that. So the BLE Shark Nano itself can hook up to your Wi-Fi and update from their GitHub, which I find to be really, really useful. I've been using a bunch of other apps and a bunch of other devices recently, and this is one of the few ones that actually updates itself without you having to plug it in or do anything. So that's a great feature. The BLE Shark keeps you powered for up to 10 hours with the massive 500 milliamp hour battery. Everything is securely held together with a textured case and screws. The BLE Shark Nano runs on the powerful ESP32 chip, delivering fast and stable performance every time. We're gonna open this thing up in a little bit and check it out in first person, but I really like the 3D design of this and you know, they show the PCB and it's great for a Kickstarter video. I also like how they included the fact that you can clearly see that that's a 3D printed case. So truth in advertising. Equipped with a crisp OLED display, the BLE Shark Nano provides clear and easy to read information at a glance. Join us on Kickstarter to make wireless testing simple, affordable, and fun for everyone. So yeah, that's a pretty good overview of what you're gonna get with the BLE Shark Nano. Let's scroll down and make sure you don't forget anything. Yeah, you can see they've made all their goals. They added an infrared goal for when they hit 7,500. I haven't really heard too much about that yet, but we'll have to see where that goes moving forward. So scrolling down, we just have some basic information that we heard in the promo trailer. We've got, yeah, Captive Portal, the apps, emergency mode where you can hold two buttons down and it'll go into Flappy Bird, auto updates, bad Bluetooth games, BLE beacon testing. It goes all the hardware information. Again, you can see it's clearly a 3D printed case. So again, more truth in advertising. And yeah, it shows some of the stuff from the video. We have the BLE beacon testing, uh, Wi-Fi AP spam, uh, bad Bluetooth, and captive portals, games, all that good stuff. So let's switch to the top-down cam and get a first-hand look at this thing. But first, a quick segue to today's sponsor, Delete Me. Now, one of the things that I value a lot is my own internet privacy. But if you've been online as long as I have, you know your information could be literally all over the internet. All it takes is one little moment of weakness where you're like, yeah, sure, I'll take 20 free stickers. That sounds awesome. Wrong. There's no such thing as free when it comes to the internet. If you're not paying with money, you're paying with your data. And you see, your data is actually currency for the data brokers that they use to auction off amongst themselves. And the amount of time that it takes to go digging around the entire internet, asking all these websites to take your information off of them is completely unrealistic. But that's where Delete Me comes in. They take out all the legwork. They know exactly where to look and they know exactly to get your information taken down from the data brokers. I've been with Delete Me for over a year now and they've gotten my internet footprint shrunk down so much. And what's even cooler is that I must have recently signed up for a few things that maybe I shouldn't have, trying to make content or whatever, but I've actually seen an uptick with removables from Delete Me. It's absolutely awesome. So if you want to shrink your internet footprint and stick it to the data brokers, go to joindeleteme.com and use code Sasquatch for 20% off. That's code Sasquatch, S-A-S-Q-U-A-C-H for 20% off. 
Thank you so much to Delete Me for the continued support. You guys are awesome. Let's get back at it. All right, so let's hop on over to the top down camera and get a closer look at the BLE Shark Nano. All right, so here we have our BLE Shark Nano. Very, very cool. You can see it's got the three buttons up front, switch on the side. We've got USB-C, thank God, USB-C. And then we've got four little screws in the back. So we'll go ahead and turn this on with a little rocker switch. And it pops up with a great little BLE Shark little animation. Well, I guess it's not an animation, just a splash screen, but still very cool. Here we go. And yeah, you can see now we have Bluetooth. We have our Wi-Fi menu. We have our games, apps, settings, and back to Bluetooth. So we went over most of these in the beginning, but we can look through them again. Bluetooth spam. So that's going to spam things like your iPhone. Right now I'm recording with my iPhone, so we don't want to do that. We can do an Android spam. We can do an iOS spam and Windows spam. Moving on to Wi-Fi, like we talked before, we have a normal captive portal, which will just grab like an email address. We can spam a bunch of access point names, which is pretty fun too. You can even do a custom access points, which is fun. Uh, deauth, so we can deauthenticate a certain Wi-Fi device or a certain Wi-Fi router, which will effectively kick things off of that Wi-Fi. So yeah, very useful. And remember kids, only test your own hardware. Testing any hardware that's not your own is super uncool, don't do it. Let's see what else. Um, games, Flappy Bird, let's see how bad I am at these games. Press select to start, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Eh. All right, yeah, come on. I think I'm doing better than it was on Ghost ESP. Oh, oh man, I'm killing. Ah, oh, not bad. High score, not bad. I'll take it. And how do we get out of here? There we go. Hold the exit. And then we have our Space Invaders game. Oh shoot! Whoa, I lost already. Oh, this one's hard. So I guess you got to shoot all the blocks out before you get shot by their thing. For being as old as I am, I don't know much about these old games. So cool. Space Invaders. Pong. Pong was hard, I remember. Whoops. Nobody's good at Pong. Not even the AI. Let's get out of here. Breakout? Okay, yeah, I know this game. Honestly, not that bad for, like, you know, a silly little game on a effectively Wi-Fi testing device or Bluetooth testing device. Pretty cool. Oh, Trex. I love this game. This is the... The game that you get basically on Chrome when you don't have internet, it's T-Rex Runner. So you just get to jump over stuff the whole time. It's actually a pretty addictive game. I don't hate it. All right, what else do we got in here? Now we have apps. This is the bad Bluetooth. So you can do code injection straight through Bluetooth. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll know that my Bluetooth on my computer is completely ruined from me trying to mess around with bad Bluetooth on the Flipper Zero. So I can't really show you this, but it works. It's very cool. You have a keypad. So that's how you have the macros on the actual device, which is fun. Text viewer, TikTok scroller. These are all the things that we saw earlier in the Kickstarter video. Monitor your PC. Work in progress. Ah, oh, man. So one of the cool things about this is they are continually working on the firmware, obviously. And then what happens is, let's see, can we exit? There we go. Exit. You can actually update the firmware directly on the BLE Shark. So if we exit over here, we can see in the settings, go to dim this, we go to update. It's going to actually connect to my Wi-Fi and then update automatically. Now I did it this morning to make sure that this is ready to go for the video. But yeah, it's a very cool feature and makes things very, very easy. And then you can also go into the advanced settings mode. So this is going to pop up a Bluetooth called BLE Shark Settings. I can load that up and then we'll have access to all the settings like we saw in the Kickstarter video. So I figured what better can I do to display what this thing does than take it apart. So let's break this thing down. We'll turn it off to begin with. And then do I have a good, oh, I got a screwdriver in here. Cool, cool, cool. So this is the LTT little mini fidget screwdriver. This thing's all sorts of fun. So let's start taking these screws out. Ugh. I think these have brass inserts. They're heat set inserts. So I believe that this should come in and out pretty easy. I could be wrong. We will find out. And that's why we take these things apart on camera. One, I feel like I'd be better off with my bigger screwdriver, but this is what I have on my desk. I don't know if those are far enough out, but we're gonna find out. And four. Any luck those are unscrewed far enough? They are. They are cool. So there's the back of it. 
Here's the other part. This is our battery. And I believe, yeah, that's an antenna right there. So that's actually pretty cool. I noticed that on the, at least the diagram that they had. How do we get this out without breaking it? There we go. Be super nice to it. That it had a little, I can't remember what that pigtail is called, but that also means you could put a bigger antenna on this. All you'd have to do is extend the back of the case a little bit, put a bigger antenna on it. So that would be pretty cool. But yeah, I like the little screen printing. So we've got the BLE Shark on there. So that's a nice touch. Uh, got the Bluetooth logo. And then, yeah, very cool. This is a Seed Studio esp 32 c3 which is i think what they said directly in the kickstarter we could just listen to them if you've worked at all with these little esp 32s they're very very capable and very easy to use i do like that they also do have the boot and reset buttons on there if you need that cool i'm comfortable enough turning this back on and yeah i want to get a clear case printed for it because i just think it would look really really cool all in all, I think this is a great little device. It's like 35 bucks, which is a great deal for something that's this small, and it's got plenty of stuff to play with. I feel like if you can't afford something like the Flipper Zero, and you're not quite handy enough to make something like a Ghost ESP just with an ESP, this has a display on it, it's got the three buttons, it's got pretty much everything you need all in one cute little bundle. So yeah, great job to the folks over at BLE Shark Nano. I think you guys made a great little product, and I hope it really goes well for you guys. Now we've seen pretty much all the things that the BLE Shark Nano can do in the Kickstarter video, but I did want to show you how absolutely crazy this AP spam is. All right, cool. So let's hop on down to the desktop. Let's load up our Wi-Fi networks. See what's showing up right here. These are all the networks that are already showing up. So let's go ahead and spam Wi-Fi networks. And let's do funny. We can do funny APs. We've done Rick Rolls before, so let's do a funny one. So let's let it rip and let's see what this looks like. So right now it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going really, really, really fast. I might need to reload the Wi Fi menu to see all these things. There we go. Immediately you're just hopping off 6G radiation test. Bill Y, the science spy. Free Wi Fi. Get off my lane. Hide your kids. Hide your Wi Fi. I'm like, there's so many. There's so many. Only lands. In two seconds, winter net is coming, Wu-Tang land, and it's just, they keep coming. There's so many. So I've already done 160 different access points so far. It's nuts. All right, let's stop doing that because I'm going to probably piss off my neighbors again. All right, so I got to say, for a Kickstarter, the BLE Shark Nano is a really, really cool device. And again, because I'm holding one, I really think that if you put your money into it, you'll get one too. So yeah, what do you guys think about the BLE Shark Nano? Leave a comment down below. I really like showcasing projects like this because I like to support the creators these are the guys that are out there trying their best to make cool products for you guys to enjoy so big props to infinity shark tech and the entire crew over at ble shark nano thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in the video please make sure to like comment subscribe it absolutely helps me out a ton and as always if you want to support me you can support our partners go to joindeleteme.com use code sasquatch for 20 percent off you guys are absolute legends and we'll catch you next time